Why was Javier Bardem scared of Penelope Cruz? Do I say the truth? I think it would be risky. And you don't ever know if it's good or not. She had to do this uh, situation where she... He thought twice about dating Penelope. It's not an easy choice. It's very specific. I think he's still not telling us the truth. You lose it and you have to go back. How did they end up married after all that? Like I just wanted to run away from there and... I feel like it's worth to do. The body doesn't lie. But I realized it's not better for my mental health. It's, it's not better for anything. So I always had to lie. About I had to wonder, do I really want this? She has what I call the loving blood, passion for everything. Penelope has always had an image of a fiery beauty who can easily turn her head and destroy a family. No wonder Javier Bardem fell in love with her at first sight. Think of, uh, we'll have a plan about it if it happens. I feel like we're safe. Many said Javier was perfect for her. Beautiful, calm, kind. In addition, both were completely free. In fact, not everything was that fast. None of us dared to take the first step. I don't know why. Maybe we were shy. In short, there was nothing between us until the filming was over. Fortunately, it was at this time that our mutual friend had a party, and we had a little rest with Penelope. Well, the rest, as they say, is history. It's not easier and it's not more difficult. It's just a different situation and, and we try to, to take advantage of the fact that you know the person so well and we work in similar ways. The press repeatedly reported Penelope's breakup with Javier. I think he's still not telling us the truth. But Javier reported in Cannes that they were together. The Cannes audience met her with a standing ovation. Nobody knew that wedding preparations were in full swing and the actress herself was already pregnant. It's a great thing to be able to share this, but it's not something we can do every, every year because <laughs> I think it would be risky. In 2011, they had a son. Penelope has wanted children for a long time, so the birth of her son was a long-awaited gift for her. My life has completely changed, filled with a new meaning. I keep talking about my son, even passes by on the street. This is my favorite topic of conversation. I just want them to be nice, honest, caring, loving people. Oh. We know that it's not easy. <laughs> In 2013, Penelope gave birth again, this time to a daughter. That is because you really, you really love and you really need to do. And I'm lucky enough. Penelope and Javier very often work together. There, I don't take the characters home. I, I probably did that in my 20s and my 30s, but for a long time I haven't been doing that. I realize it's not better for my mental health, it's not better for my work, it's, it's not better for anything. And happy to do it. I've never had problems working with him. It's been like a, a dream. I really respect her as an actress and we have this thing where we know what is real and what is fiction. The way that we work, where we don't mix uh, fiction and reality, I don't think that makes your performance better or your life better or healthier. So um, as long as you don't mix things, uh, take that energy home, it's actually, uh, I think it has more advantages than disadvantages. Today, they are completely happy with life. What is the secret of their perfect, long-lasting bond? Do I say the truth? And we read a lot of books because that's the only way for us to remind us how good we are. I feel very similar to, to him. You know, like there are, for me, it's, it's natural, to be, natural to be able to say what you think and what you feel. Do you like this family?